Hey guys, Tom G here, ALW Precision Shooters. I appreciate you tuning in. We've got another little video we're going to do on the Tika TAC A1. Have the break in finished, uh, about 25 rounds through it, and we're ready to uh, do some more testing, uh, some more shooting out to 300. We're going to try something a little bit different here this morning. It's a beautiful day, and we are going to try to shoot a Bud Light bottle. For you Bud Light fans, I apologize. But we are going to shoot a Bud Light bottle, an aluminum bottle, at 300 yards. The target is 2.3 inches wide. We're going to give it a go, see what happens, see if we can hit this thing. Let me get my spotting scope, make sure it's set up. Alright, we've got the spotting scope set up. I'm going to check my kestrel here, see what I need to be dialed at. And hopefully we can hit this thing. Alright, here we go. I just missed that thing on the left edge. Don't know how I missed it, but I did. In the same spot. Let me come back one click. I think I over adjusted for the wind. Should be able to hit it here, I would think. There it is. Shot number three. It would have been very cool to hit that on the first shot, but I'm sure when you uh, when you go back and look at the video, or when I do. Uh, those first two shots were just a fraction off. I actually had a half minute dialed for wind and went back to a quarter on that last shot and held it right on and boom. So uh, it definitely was not the gun's air, it was me. Okay, uh, here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to try a couple other shots. I've got a, a head target at 250. So now I think we have the wind set up here correctly on our dial in. Alright, what we're going to do now, I'm going to uh, do a headshot at 250. Let me adjust my spotting scope camera. Alright, I have the spotting scope camera adjusted at the 250 yard mark. And what I'm going to do now is see if I can do a headshot. I actually have a, a profile AR500 head out there that I can, uh, I have an eye painted on and a mouth, so I'm going to see if I can do a through the eye shot at 250 yards with this uh, Tika. All 
Alright, here we go. Wow, that was a through the eye shot at 250 yards with this thing. Holy crap! All right, guys, if anybody's out there interested in one of these Tika Tech A1s, this one is not for sale, but I would highly recommend that you check these things out. Uh, they are awesome guns. Uh, you've probably watched some of the videos on my channel on the Ruger RPR. I hope you have, but if you haven't, you need to check those out too. I did have the Ruger RPR and recently got one of these to switch over to it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of the Tika TAC A1. I hope this gives it a little bit of a demonstration of just how, how effective and how accurate, how smooth this gun is. You can't go wrong, I don't think, if this is something you're in the market for. So, again, thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.